How are you preparing for this flood that we're about to have? Well, we're sandbagging, getting all of our appliances up off the floors and just getting everything at least a foot up off the ground. So Sandbags, plastic, and, and just praying that it doesn't get any higher. People over here, they were provided with sand by the city. Yeah, the city, the fire department, police department had them handing out bags at free charge. And uh, Jacobson Concrete here in town, local business, I, I don't know if they donated the sand or what, but they brought at least six semi-loads to this one particular area that I seen yesterday which was really nice of them because they pulled their guys in on a holiday weekend to do this. And that's for all the residents? All the residents and businesses. And, and then Bemis, or lo another local factory here, donated a bunch of plastic bags. So there were plenty of sandbags to go around. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's still some empty boxes laying out there and some folks are still bagging. But did you take the opportunity to grab some sand? We did. We, we did several hundred sandbags around the store, you know, which is a lot of work to do, but Thankfully, we had it here close that they brought it downtown to us, so we didn't have to drive too far to get it and had to haul it. We bought some boards. We're about to put up some boards, some plastic. We went out and got some pumps to pump things out, lifting the desks off the floor the and taking the computers. All the equipment. Yeah. They, they were here in 87 when that flood came through, so right. they've uh, been through it once before and kind of know what to do to get us ready right. for this one. We had it into the showroom of the store here in 87, maybe a half an inch in. So they were predicting maybe another 18 inches at one time. It was kind of bad. Wet. But I got rid of my 1970 carpet that I didn't want, and now I'm gonna get new carpet if it floods this time too. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's one good thing out of it. We can rip carpet up and clean carpet. That won't be any big deal. We took all the appliances out, out of this area at all. We took them next door because the floor next door is two and a half feet higher. So uh, Tammy Godfrey over there at the, the photography studio allowed us to use her showroom. Mm -hmm. so we just wheeled everything over there and just packed it full. How long did it take you to get everything off the showroom we floor over there? Probably eight hours yesterday of solid help, but I've had 10 or 15 guys here helping. Mm -hmm. and, and even with 10 or 15 guys, eight yeah, hours. Eight hours wow. because I had a, you know, a hundred side-by-side -side refrigerators out mm -hmm. there, and they're, they're heavy. Yeah, I can imagine. But I had good help, and we appreciate them. Even but though that the refrigerators are on wheels, you still needed to use a dolly yeah, and, and truck. Yeah, them over and yeah. haul them over there. But if it doesn't flood, we'll take this opportunity to clean. <laughs> and that's exactly what you're doing right now. And we're out here vacuuming the carpets just in case. Right oh, now, yeah, so. of course. <laughs>